Hi, we are Open Air Vent GT. We are a team at Georgia Institute of Technology working with Dr. Devesh Ranjan to make a makeshift ventilator project. Our vision is to develop a highly modular, low-cost emergency use ventilator. Our hope is that this ventilator is implemented worldwide uh, to address the current COVID ventilator crisis. The ventilator is controlled by a Raspberry Pi and custom breadboard. Inputs can be put in using encoders and the ventilator is powered by using uh, a compressed air line which goes into a piston which then compresses an ambu bag. Respiratory settings such as inspiration time and respiratory rate can be adjusted using the encoder knobs. The ambu bag comes with a safety pressure relief valve to protect the patient. Coming out of the ambu bag is a patient circuit flexible hose on the patient side are a flow sensor and pressure sensor to continuously monitor the patient vitals and update the Raspberry Pi. This also feeds into a non-rebreathing T-junction, uh, which has one direction going to the patient where we have an artificial lung uh, separated by a bacterial viral filter. And then on the expiratory limb is a common PEEP valve. The ventilator can normally operate on a fixed duty cycle. However, it also has an over, overpressure protection uh, to sense when the patient pressure is too high and to immediately stop a breath. To demonstrate that, I'm going to apply some pressure on this next breath. You can see how the breath is, is cut short in order to protect the patient from the overpressure. The ventilator is also capable of patient assist control, uh, which means that the patient is able to drive the breathing rate uh, based on when they want to breathe. Uh, so right now, we're not, we're not controlling that using patient assist control. The backup mechanism, which is forcing a breath at whatever the minimum rate is that the doctor prescribes is kicking in, and forcing inspiration. But I'm going, to, I'm going to simulate patient inspiration by using this syringe. So after the breath, I'm going to trigger a new breath early. And you can see that I can breathe at a faster rate than what the doctor has prescribed as the minimum rate. However, if the patient stops breathing, again, we can resume that minimum breath rate uh, so the, the ventilator will automatically breathe on its own.